Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Um, you guys have all been used to using sum if formula in Excel. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the same thing using DAX uh, in Power BI. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to create a new measure over here. I'm going to click on the three dots and then click on new measure. Okay, uh, so once I have this, I'm going to just rename this measure. Let's say I want to know the sales of category uh, furniture. Okay, so I'm just going to type in furniture sales is equals to and I'm going to type in calculate. That's the DAX we will be using. And then inside calculate, I will be using the sum function and then I need to sum my sales uh, value column i'm going to close the bracket comma and then i'm going to type in um, the uh, category right category okay is equals to i'm going to open double quotes and then type in furniture close the quotes and close the bracket and press enter right so now this has been accepted i'm going to now create a card and then bring in the furniture sales that we just created i'm just going to make this a little smaller and then let's format this to uh, currency and then uh, with zero decimal points okay so now i have my uh, furniture sales value now what we did was we just created like a one sum if kind of a, a dax formula here uh, where we're saying sum the sales amount wherever the category is furniture now let's say so this is my total amount right so that's what you see here as well it says 0.74 million it is the same amount over here right so let us change this to 2017 when i say 2017 the sales amount is uh, 215k now let's say you want to create another card with uh, double condition or another condition uh, over here right i'm just going to copy this and then i'm going to create a new measure over here okay and then i'm going to paste this i'm going to call this as furniture sales let's say i want the sales number for 2017 okay and then i'm going to uh, I'm going to go inside the bracket over here type in comma and then i'm going to use the function called as year i want to convert my date to year first before having the uh, the condition over here and then my date is the uh, um, the order date okay and then i'm going to close the bracket i'm going to type in is equals to and then 2017 make sure that you don't type in any quotes over here because this is a number and this needs to be typed in directly without having the quotes okay and then i'm going to press enter all right and then let us bring back this over here i just copy pasted to a new sheet and then let us have the total values which is 742k and then i'm going to replace this with the new measure that we created 2017 sales right so as you can see here let me quickly format this to currency and then change the decimal places to zero all right so let us test this out now let me click on 2017 you can see that it is 215k which is displayed over here 215k as well right if if you want to change this you can just quickly go and change this to 2016 and you will have the sales number for 2016 when i click here 2016 and the amount matches over here right so i hope this video has helped you uh, and you've learned something new uh, and also uh, i have a video that i have done as to how i've created this particular dashboard i will link that out in my description below in this particular video uh, please watch it and uh, also please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials thank you so much for watching